Kolo, I'm a second year PhD student studying at the National University of Singapore. Before I came to Singapore to study, I was on school holiday and my dad was diagnosed with glaucoma. I accompanied him several times to the hospital to check his eye pressure and I find the clinical way of testing eye pressure is very invasive and troublesome. My dad needs to apply an anesthesia before he actually do the test and the detecting probe is in direct contact with the cornea which he felt very uncomfortable and painful too. Seeing her father's discomfort, Ke Lu decided to do something about it. Together with two other NUS students, they designed a glove that tests for glaucoma, minus the discomfort and inconvenience of the standard eye pressure test. And after consulting clinicians, we realized the potential of applying tactile sensors to solve this problem. HOOPS is the Home Eye Pressure E-Skin Sensor and it basically consists of the tactile sensor mounted on the fingertip and uh, is connected to the set of electronics inside here. What happens is that when we press the sensor against our eyelid, uh, we then capture the uh, pressure map of the patient's eye and uh, we, we collect that data and use uh, AI to uh, understand uh, the patient's eye pressure. Darker coloured squares on the reading indicate a higher eye pressure, often associated with glaucoma. To come up with this first uh, successful prototype, I think uh, we went through many iterations for each of the different components. So for the, the sensors itself, it went through uh, quite a few com uh, iterations, maybe 10, 20, and then for the electronics and stuff, also many, many iterations. One of the biggest challenges that the team faced was that coming up with the correct form factor uh, for, this, uh, for this device. Because the way that the patient uh, uses the device is very important in order to get um, stable and reliable uh, readings and um, and then on top of that we also want to ensure that uh, the device is able to fit in with the user's everyday life. Uh, you can see from the prototype so now it's a big, uh, slightly big box so we we aim to shrink it to something like a smartwatch we can be more comfortable to, for people to wear in and also we are in the state of data collection, so we need a large data set. Make sure our uh, prediction is more accurate. Next step, we will collaborate with NUH to conduct a clinical trials. So we want to collect more data from a real uh, volunteer of glaucoma patient so that we, have, we can enhance our AI uh, algorithm. Hopes is the international winner of this year's James Dyson Award, the first by a Singapore team. The team were informed of their award by none other than James Dyson himself. I wanted to um, tell you that you've won the International Design Prize with your development. So many, many congratulations. Thank you very much. And I hope that the prize money enables you to take your invention further. We're very, very surprised. Uh, it's, uh, I think at that moment, um, like we, we couldn't stop smiling. and We, we were like, oh, oh, what's going on? I start to look around my teammates as we are in the same meeting room. So I just look around them to check, ah, is that true? It makes emotions afterwards, yeah, because uh, it's very related to my personal matter and uh, my own research work. Uh, and I understand there will be great challenges ahead too. So yeah, but I still feel our hard work paid off. For Kalu, this means HOPES is a step closer to becoming a viable alternative to test for glaucoma, one that would improve her father's quality of life. Every time you need to check your eye pressure, you need to be in hospitalized for 24 hours and you need to test every two to three hours interval. So I think if I we come up with this kind of device, maybe uh, after we ensure it's working in two years or three years time, my dad can easily monitor his eye pressure at home. I actually chatted with him and he felt very proud and he actually um, asked me to work harder to bring this back uh, to China and he really uh, 
want to be the first uh, volunteer at um, Taxis. Yeah.